Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Shack Daddy's Outdoor Adventures. Um, heading out to Jolly Lake, uh, it's out in Alexandria, Kentucky. It's a great fishing lake, has um, about 200 acres I think is what it is total. Uh, tons of shoreline that I can walk, which is perfect. Also, um, I can mix up what I'm trying to achieve today. I, there's different depths, there's shallow, there's frogging, a little bit of everything. It's really just a great lake to kind of use all my tools, you could say. On my way out, I actually stopped out at a friend's um, a new restaurant that they opened up. It's actually an old restaurant that they renovated. Uh, it's called Spare Time Belly and Soul. Super great people. Um, they also let me hunt on their property too, so it's awesome. Works out real well. I just ate there, just want to give them a fabulous review. Uh, had a BLT with some egg on it. Kevin knows me pretty well, used to work in our kitchen out of my work. Uh, and we ate a lot of lunches together, so uh, he took care of me and uh, they got a great family oriented place and I suggest you, you stop there. It's out in Alexandria, Kentucky, and I'll shoot, show you a little clip of it. Uh, on the back side of this so and I'll also link them and put them in my description uh, so today's objective is just to try to get out there and catch some fish as always I have uh, different tools I'm using I'm going to really focus on my drop shotting uh, seem to have a lot of luck and then I may actually do some uh, deep water cranking um, I feel like it's getting a little warmer again. The fish have had a couple cool nights. They may have kind of surfaced, but they may be pushing back down to those deep water depths. Uh, I'm excited to get it going. Thanks for watching, guys. See you shortly. Shack Daddy um, out here in Mason, Ohio. I uh, have three ponds to choose from today. Um, I can't exactly remember what this pond is called, but it's in the city of Mason. Uh, water looks great. Hopefully there's some bass in here. We'll get things going. All right, so that's twice now I've seen that fish jump across the way. I'm going to get it. Enough of this crap. And if you look, it's like right over there. I don't know if I can get over there. It's perfect. So let's get this done. Here we go. Pretty sure we're moving into Blair Witch territory. Ah, uh, there's a bridge. All right, that's where the hogs were at. Before there's some brush in the water. Let's see what we come up with here. Tree. 
That's amazing. I hope I get that on tape. <laughs> yeah, I did. Well, worst case scenario, I get that on tape today. And that's all I do. Oh, got one. Just a little guy, a little dink. Just making sure I could still catch fish. I'm glad to see that. He's a tiny guy. Been caught a few times. There you go. Finally caught a fish today. Pretty happy about that. There's a nice little bed of bass that just sit right by this fresh intake here. Oh, got another one. Ooh, a little bit better, a little bit better. Not much, but a little bit. These things are tiny here. Drop shot is on fire today. Stupid fish, come on. Stop. Probably a little bit less than a pound. Nice little dink, but fish nevertheless. Yes, scared the heck out of me. Sorry. <laughs> How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Do you live over here? Yeah. Well, I don't. My brother does. He lives on Bayshore. Uh, you know, in order to come over here and fish, I'm the homeowner's association. Oh, you are? Okay. My name is James Whitlock. Oh, hey, James. And, uh, and there's a sign right here that says, this is private property for the folks that live here. Yeah. And you have to have your, your recreation tag to, to a fish. And if, you're, if your brother's going to let you fish over here, he has to be over here with you. He has to stand here with me? He has to be over here with you. This is for the people that live in this community. Sure. Uh, I was on my homeowner association board, so I mean, I understand. Definitely understand where you're coming from. I just didn't realize they had to be here with me. So. Well, we've, we've just had a lot.